Hello friend, I am Pradeep Yadav and today I am going to discuss a very important topic how to convert CGPA or SGPA into percentage. Currently I am working in an examination department. So you know many students came to me and asked Sir, how we can convert SGPA and CGPA into percentage? And this is most asked question regarding SGPA and CGPA. So friends just try to listen to me what I am saying just I want to remove all the hesitation and confusion regarding the conversion of CGP into percentage. So first thing, friends, there is no any specific rule to convert SGPA or CGPA into percentage. Because just I am taking three to four examples, so you can easily understand. First example is that CGP uh, as CBSC board used to convert SGPA or CGPA into percentage by multiplying by 9.5 means suppose you score 8 CGPA and you want to convert into percentage so what does CBSC do just thus they multiply your CGPA into 9.5 suppose your score is 8 just multiply by 9.5 you will get 76 means that is your percentage. Now talking about IITs, they are following different rules. Talking about some different university, some university what they do, they just convert your CGP into percentage by multiplying 10. Means suppose your CGP is 8, just multiply by 10, 10 you will get your percentage. Uh, currently I am working in a university, in that university we are following the same concept, just multiply your CGPA by 10 and you will get your percentage. And also I have seen many universities, they are following different criteria. Now problem is that, then how we uh, came to know which is best way. You know, whenever you are going to apply for any job or uh, you are going to apply for any ed uh, higher education, so if the university issue a certificate regarding this, some university what does they do? They just print all the calculation regarding this uh, back side of your mark sheet or your grade sheet. And some university provide a certificate that is CGPA to percentage conversion. Means that is you know that is a material written on the uh, in letterhead and you can proceed that letters in uh, term, uh, for applying the job for getting the education so that is genuine certificate and mostly university is providing this so you uh, do not need to worry about this if you feel if someone is asking for percentage just you contact examination cell or registrar department of your university or college and tell them ki, yes we need a certificate definitely they will provide and that certificate contain all the information how you can convert your SGPA into SGP or CGPA into percentage because my university also provide a certificate where a student have to apply for this and university issue a certificate this is procedure we are following and also in this video I have attached to your three letters so by that letter you can easily understand yes this is genuine you know because every university have their own criteria to convert SGPA or CGP into percentage. There is no any standard rule. If someone is saying no that is a standard rule that is not okay. CBS is a very bigger board as we know. They are multiplying by 9.5 IIT some uh, I am talking about IISC Bangalore they are multiplying by 10 some university what they do. Uh, just subtract 0 0.50 from your uh, SGP or CGP and multiply by 10 and some universities uh, multiplying by 9.2 so it's totally depend upon you in which university you are studying in which board you are studying just ask for certificate it's just we need conversion certificate they will provide by that certificate you can uh, produce your mark to anyone yes this is certificate which is provided by university and they are following this concept so you need certificate also I mentioned that some university 
you know mention all the criteria for conversion for calculation of SGPA CGPA uh, back side of the mark sheet that is also okay so please don't be confused about this if someone is saying no this is good formula and this is best it doesn't matter it's totally depend upon your university your board okay, what they are going to provide you if someone is providing yes you can multiply by 9 then that is okay because the criteria for calculation SGP and CGP are different with every university mostly university nowadays following the concept of UGC guidelines that is okay but when we talk about how to convert is totally depend upon university if which type formula they are following so just ask for certificate and that is genuine certificate and by that using that certificate you can justify your marks into percentage so thank you for listening friends may uh, maybe you get my point and also i have attached two or three screenshot of some university later so definitely you can understand understand my point what i am trying to say so please don't be confused about this only contact your university and you are going to get a certificate for that